Sure. Part, part of what we were talking about today was about the missing link and, and how scenarios can play a role as a missing link inside of innovation portfolios. And, and if you think about scenarios and, and part of the characteristics around scenarios, there are three things that are fundamental that add into this process. So one of them is that when you build scenarios, usually you focus on what are some of the discontinuities and the key uncertainties that happen in the environment. And if you think about that, that then becomes a huge platform for envisioning and coming up with new ideas that you wouldn't come up in, in a different way. The, the second thing about scenarios that is fundamental is the fact that, that scenarios explore what are some of the interdependencies that you have. And, and once you do that, then you can, you can try to come up with really things that are flexible, not only at the level of the innovations themselves, but you can create a lot of flexibility around your innovation portfolios. And the final thing that is absolutely uh, critical about scenarios is that it helps you try to manage some of the cognitive biases. And in doing so, one of the key issues around innovation portfolios, as you well know, is what are some of the assumptions that go into your models. And, and by really using scenarios to do this, you're able to come up with a better risk assessment around your different innovations and the portfolio as a whole. Well, I, I think that scenarios, again, is one of those things that it's really not easy to embrace and, and implement at, at the beginning because scenarios sometimes are not used in, in, in the proper way. But I think that you know, companies and industries that embrace scenarios at the different steps of the process are the ones that are able to get the most out of using scenarios. So scenarios only as a way of framing issues up front, I think that you're selling short scenarios for, for what they can provide. But I think that on the other side, if you're only trying to use scenarios as an afterthought, once you, you know, again, you're developing portfolios of innovations or initiatives, then people will not buy into, you know, wh where do scenarios come from at the end of the day? And they don't buy into the whole concept of the different worlds that you're creating. So I think it's absolutely essential whenever you use scenarios and even within the context of what we're talking that you take people through the journey of building scenarios from the very beginning. As I said in my talk, the beauty about scenarios is that it's not about you, it's about the environment. So if people buy into a future, then buying into what you need to do to succeed in the future becomes a much easier um, task than, than you would do otherwise.